Part 1. Australia and its people. At the citizenship ceremony, you pledge your loyalty to Australia and its people. In this section, there is information about Australia's people, Australia's states and territories, and our traditions and symbols. Indigenous Australians. The Indigenous Australians are the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. They were Australia's first inhabitants. They have lived in Australia for between 40,000 and 60,000 years. Early days of European settlement. On the 26th of January 1788, the first fleet of convict ships under the command of Captain Arthur Phillip arrived from Great Britain. Captain Phillip became the first governor of the new colony of New South Wales. After that, free settlers came from Great Britain and Ireland to start a new life. The Nation of Australia People have come to Australia from many countries. More than 200 languages are spoken in Australia and the national language is English. About 22 million people live in Australia and over one quarter of the population was born overseas. Australia's states and territories. The Commonwealth of Australia is a federation of states and territories. There are six states and two mainland territories. Canberra is the capital city of Australia. Each state and territory has its own capital city. Sydney is the capital of New South Wales. Melbourne is the capital city of Victoria. Brisbane is the capital city of Queensland. Perth is the capital city of Western Australia. Adelaide is the capital city of South Australia. Hobart is the capital city of Tasmania. Canberra is the capital city of the Australian Capital Territory. And Darwin is the capital city of the Northern Territory. Traditions and Symbols Important Days for Australians Australia Day, 26th of January. On Australia Day, we celebrate all that is great about Australia and being Australian. 26th of January, 1788, marks the arrival of the first fleet from Great Britain. On this day every year, we honour our history and the people who have made this country great. Anzac Day. 25th of April. Anzac Day is named after the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. The Anzacs landed at Gallipoli in Turkey during World War I on the 25th of April 1915. On Anzac Day, we remember all Australians who served and died in wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations. Australia's flags. Australia has three official flags. The Australian national flag, the Australian Aboriginal flag, and the Torres Strait Islander flag. The Australian national flag is blue, white and red. The flag of Great Britain, known as the Union Jack, represents our history of British settlement. The Commonwealth Star, under the Union Jack, has seven points. One point for each of the six states and one for the territories. The Southern Cross, on the right, is a group of stars we see in the southern sky. The Australian Aboriginal flag is black, red and yellow. The top half is black and represents the Aboriginal people of Australia. The bottom half is red and represents the earth and a spiritual relation to the land. 
The yellow circle represents the sun. The Torres Strait Islander flag is green, blue, black and white. Green represents the land. Blue represents the sea. Black represents the Torres Strait Islander people. The white dancer's headdress is a symbol for all Torres Strait Islanders. The colour white represents peace. The points of the star represent the island groups in the Torres Strait. Commonwealth Coat of Arms The Commonwealth Coat of Arms is the official symbol of the Commonwealth of Australia. It identifies the authority and property of the Commonwealth of Australia. Australia's National Flower Australia's National Flower is the Golden Wattle. It has bright green leaves and golden yellow flowers in spring. Australia's National Colours Australia's national colours are green and gold. These are the colours of the golden wattle. Australia's gemstone. The opal is Australia's national gemstone. Australia's national anthem. Advance Australia Fair is Australia's national anthem. Part 2. Australia's Democratic Beliefs, Rights and Liberty At the citizenship ceremony, you pledge that you share Australia's democratic beliefs and that you will respect the rights and liberties of the Australian people. In this section, there is information about our democratic beliefs, our freedoms, our equalities, the responsibilities of Australian citizenship, the privileges of Australian citizenship, and participating in Australian society. Our democratic beliefs. Parliamentary democracy. Australia's system of government is a parliamentary democracy. Citizens regularly elect people to represent them in Parliament. 
Only Parliament has the power to make and change the laws that govern the country. The rule of law. Australia's laws are important and help to maintain our peaceful and orderly society. The rule of law means that no person or group is above the law. We are all equal under the law. All Australians have the right to be protected by Australia's laws. Living peacefully. Australia is a peaceful country. We reject violence as a way to change a person's mind or to change the law. Respect for all individuals, regardless of background. People come to Australia from many different countries. People may be different because of their country of origin, race, heritage, religion, culture, gender, sexual preference, marital status, and or age, disability, politics, wealth. People are free to follow and share their beliefs and traditions as long as they do not break Australian laws. We believe every individual, regardless of their background, must be treated with dignity and respect. Compassion for those in need. Our governments help Australians in need through social security and other services. Many people also help in their community as volunteers. In Australia, there is a spirit of mateship. This means helping each other in times of need. Our freedoms, freedom of speech and freedom of expression. We are free to say and write what we think about any topic, criticize the government in public or in private, and express our views in art, film, music and literature. Newspapers, television and radio also have this freedom. However, it is against the law to harm others through speech or expression and encourage hatred of others, for example, because of their culture. Freedom of association. We are free to join any legal organization, such as a political party, trade union, religious, cultural or social group. People can also decide not to join. We can join others in a peaceful protest against a government action or an organisation. Freedom of religion and secular government. Australia's government is secular. This means that Australia has no official religion. We are free to follow any religion we choose. We are also free to have no religion. Religious practices must not break the laws of Australia. Our equalities. Equality of men and women. By law, men and women have equal rights in Australia. They have equal rights to make independent choices about personal matters, such as marriage. 
to vote and stand for Parliament, and to join the Australian Defence Force and the police. Men and women have equal access to education and employment and are treated equally in courts of law. Equality of opportunity. Australians believe in a fair society where everyone deserves a fair go. Everyone has the same chance to succeed through their hard work and talents. Responsibilities of citizenship. Obey the law. It is the responsibility of all Australians to obey Australian government laws, state and territory government laws, and local government laws. Vote in elections and in a referendum. Voting is both a responsibility and a right. Citizens aged 18 years or over must register their name and address on the electoral roll. It is compulsory for citizens on the electoral roll to vote in federal, Australian government and state elections. Occasionally, we have to vote in a referendum. A referendum is a vote to change the constitution. Defend Australia should the need arise. Service in the Australian Defence Force is voluntary. However, Australians must be committed to defend Australia and our way of life if the need arises. Serve on a jury if called to do so. A jury is a group of ordinary Australian citizens aged 18 years or over. They listen to the evidence in a court case and decide if a person is innocent or guilty. Any Australian citizen who is on the electoral roll may be called to serve on a jury. Privileges of citizenship. Apply for work in the Australian Public Service and the Australian Defence Force. Australian citizens have the right to apply for a job in the Australian Public Service and a job in the Army, Navy and Air Force. Seek election to Parliament. Australian citizens aged 18 years or over can seek election to a federal, state or territory parliament. Apply for an Australian passport and re-enter Australia freely. Australian citizens have the right to live freely in Australia, apply for an Australian passport and travel overseas and return to Australia without a re-entry visa. Receive help from an Australian official while overseas. An Australian embassy, high commission or consulate overseas can help Australian citizens in an emergency. They can provide advice and support and issue an emergency passport. Register children born overseas as Australian citizens by descent. Australian citizens can register their children born overseas as Australian citizens. The child has the same rights and responsibilities of citizenship as children born in Australia.
participating in Australian society. Everybody can make a contribution to Australian society. For example, you can join a local community organisation, volunteer to help in the community, and actively participate in political life. By working and paying tax, we also contribute to society. Paying tax is required by law. Governments use our taxes to provide important services, such as health and education. Part 3. Government and the law in Australia. At the citizenship ceremony, you pledge to uphold and obey the laws of Australia. In this section, there is information about how citizens have a say, how Australia is governed, responsibilities of each level of government, and how laws are made and administered. How do I have my say? Voting. Australian citizens vote for people to represent them in Parliament. All citizens aged 18 years or over must enrol to vote. Citizens on the electoral roll aged 18 years or over must vote in federal, state and territory elections. Voting is by secret ballot. We are free and safe to vote for any candidate. Raising matters with your representatives. You can contact your elected representative to talk about issues that concern you. In this way, your opinions may help to change or make new government policies. How did we establish our system of government? Federation. Before 1901, Australia was made up of six separate self-governing British colonies. On the 1st of January 1901, the colonies were united into a federation of states called the Commonwealth of Australia. The Australian colonies became one independent nation. The Australian Constitution. The Australian Constitution is the legal document that sets out the basic rules for the government of Australia. The Australian Constitution came into effect on the 1st of January 1901. It established the Parliament of the Commonwealth of Australia. The Australian Constitution can only be changed by a referendum. How is the power of government controlled? The Constitution divides power between three arms of government. Legislative power, power to make and change laws, executive power, power to put the laws into practice, and judicial power, power to interpret and apply the law. Who is Australia's head of state? Australia is a constitutional monarchy. Our head of state is the Queen of Australia, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The Governor-General represents the Queen in Australia. The Governor-General signs all bills passed by the Australian Parliament into law, royal assent, signs regulations, performs ceremonial duties, and approves the appointment of the Australian Government and its ministers, federal judges and other officials. Who are some of Australia's leaders? The Prime Minister is the leader of the Australian Government. A Government Minister is a Member of Parliament chosen by a Government Leader to be responsible for an area of Government. A Member of Parliament, MP, is an elected representative of the Australian people 
in the Australian Parliament. A senator is an elected representative of a state or territory in the Australian Parliament. The governor is the representative of the head of state in each Australian state. The premier is the leader of a state government. The chief minister is the leader of a territory government. A mayor or shire president is the leader of a local council. A councillor is an elected member of a local council. How is Australia governed? There are three levels of government in Australia. They are the Australian government, state and territory governments and local governments. Australian government. The Australian government is also called the federal government or the Commonwealth government. The Australian Parliament has two houses, the House of Representatives and the Senate. We vote for representatives to both houses in federal elections. The House of Representatives. The House of Representatives is also called the Lower House or the People's House. Australia is divided into federal electorates. People in each electorate vote for one person to represent them in this house. The work of the House of Representatives is to consider, debate and vote on plans to make or change a law and to discuss important national matters. Representatives to this House are called Members of Parliament, MPs. The Senate. The Senate is also called the Upper House, the House of Review, or the States House. The states are equally represented in the Senate. The mainland territories also have representatives. The work of the Senate is also to consider, debate and vote on new laws or changes to the laws and to discuss important national matters. State and Territory Government The six states and two mainland territories are governed in a similar way to the Australian Government. Each state has its own parliament, constitution and its own governor to represent the Queen. The leader of a state government is the Premier. The leader of a territory government is the Chief Minister. Local Government The states and the Northern Territory are divided into local government areas. Each area has a local council. People vote to elect their local councillors. Councils provide services to their local communities. What do the three levels of government do? Responsibilities of the Australian Government. Taxation. National economic management. Immigration and citizenship. Employment. Postal services and the communications network. Social security. Pensions and family support. Defence. Trade. Airports and air safety. And foreign affairs. Relations with other countries. Responsibilities of state and territory governments. Hospitals and health services. Schools. Railways. Roads and road traffic control. Forestry. Police. 
and public transport. Responsibilities of local government and the Australian Capital Territory Government. Street signs. Traffic controls. Local roads. Footpaths. Bridges. Drains. Parks. Playgrounds. Swimming pools. Sports grounds. Camping grounds and caravan parks. Food and meat inspection. Noise and animal control. Rubbish collection. Local libraries. Halls and community centres. Some childcare and aged care services. Building permits. Social planning. And local environmental issues. What role do political parties play in the way Australia is governed? A political party is a group of people who share similar ideas about how to govern the country. Most members of parliament belong to political parties. But some do not belong to any party. They are called independents. In Australia, we are free to join a political party. How is the Australian government formed? After an election, the political party or the coalition of parties with the majority of members in the House of Representatives forms the government. The leader of the government becomes the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister chooses MPs or Senators to become Ministers. Ministers are responsible for areas of government such as employment or Indigenous affairs. The party or the coalition of parties with the second largest number of members in the House of Representatives forms the Opposition. Its leader is called the Leader of the Opposition. How are laws made? A member of parliament proposes a new law or a change to the law. This proposal is called a bill. Members in both houses discuss the bill and vote on it. If a majority in both houses agrees to the bill, it goes to the Governor-General. When the Governor-General signs the bill, it becomes law. State and territory governments make their own laws in a similar way. How are laws administered? The courts. The courts are responsible for interpreting and applying the law. A court decides if a person has broken the law. The court also decides on a penalty. Courts are independent of the government. They make decisions using the evidence presented to them. Judges and Magistrates A judge or magistrate is the highest authority in a court. They are independent and no one can tell them what decision to make in court. Juries. A court will use a jury in some cases. A jury is a group of ordinary citizens from the general population. The jury listens to evidence provided in court and decides if the person is guilty. The judge decides the penalty. In Australia, a person is considered innocent until found guilty by a court. The police. The police maintain peace and order in Australia. It is their job to find people who they believe have broken the law. 
they can arrest them and take them to court. You can report crimes and ask for help from your local police. Criminal offences in Australia. Violence is against the law in Australia. Other criminal offences include murder, assault, sexual assault, armed robbery or theft, dangerous driving and use of illegal drugs. It is against the law to carry weapons such as knives or guns. It is important to know Australian laws. In court, ignorance of a law is not accepted as an excuse for breaking that law. Traffic offences. Road and traffic rules are controlled by state and territory governments. People can be fined large amounts of money or even sent to prison for breaking traffic laws. To drive a car in Australia, you must have a local driver's licence and the car must be registered. There are many other traffic laws. You must become familiar with them. Australian citizenship, our common bond. In Australia, we enjoy a peaceful and stable society. We share a rich and unique culture. As a citizen, you will become part of Australia's story and contribute to our future. Australia welcomes